Level 5, Full Automation. This is complete autonomy for both driving and parking, removing the need for any human intervention at all. These cars are capable of sensing their surroundings using various technologies such as radar, laser, sonar and cameras to navigate roads without human intervention. In the near future, Level 5 autonomy is expected to evolve from limited functionality driver assistance systems, such as automatic braking, to highly and fully automated driving in a matter of years. Audi Audi is readying a new fully autonomous car, the Akon. The Akon is supposed to go into production by 2022 and be in full mass production by 2028. Audi describes the vehicle as a highly individual mobility concept with no internal combustion engine. This isn't the first time you've seen this from Audi the company has been working on autonomous technology for years. With the Akon, Audi says it wants to create the next level of mobility and its own brand of transportation. That's why the company will be offering the Akon as part of a subscription service called Audi On Demand, which will allow owners to use the car whenever they want and charge it at an Audi station when they're not using it. In addition to being fully autonomous, the Akon is also designed to be electric. It can accommodate up to 8 occupants and travel up to 310 miles on one charge. It also has a high-resolution dashboard that multitasks between displaying information and operating as a touchscreen. While this is certainly exciting news for fans of autonomous cars, you'll have to wait quite some time before you can get behind the wheel of your very own Akon. The Audi Akon has no steering wheel or pedals and moves at up to 130 miles per hour, 209 kilometers per hour. It's based on the modular toolkit for piloted driving developed by Audi and Volkswagen Group Research. It also has an electric range of about 500 kilometers, 310 miles, which is six times longer than current electric vehicles by Audi. Volvo Volvo plans to launch the first fully autonomous car by 2021, and it will be available in all of the company's models by 2022. This a mid-size luxury SUV isn't an ordinary autonomous vehicle. Volvo is calling it IntelliSafe, after its suite of cameras, radars, and sensors that work together to create a safer driving experience. Here are some of the features that make IntelliSafe so advanced. 360-degree camera system The XC90 features a 360-degree camera system around the car that gives it all-around visibility, in all directions at once. The system captures images and video footage in real time, which can capture events like crashes or near misses. This information is then used to build a map and track surrounding vehicles, pedestrians, and cyclists. Automatic Emergency Braking IntelliSafe is capable of detecting danger ahead of the driver and automatically react with emergency braking to avoid collisions from behind or beside the car. It also includes pedestrian detection technology that will slow the vehicle down if it senses someone in its path or automatically stop if necessary. Collision Warning with Auto Braking Support IntelliSafe can warn drivers of potential collisions ahead using indicators like a vibrating steering wheel or seatbelt tightening to grab their attention, and automatic. Zooks Zooks is a robotics company that aims to create the first-ever fully autonomous vehicle. It's currently in stealth mode, prepping for its initial public offering next year. Five years ago, Zooks had only one employee, Tim Kentley Clay, the CEO and co-founder of the company, who has been working on this dream since he was a teenager. Now Zook stands at over 100 employees with $80 million in funding from investors like Google Ventures, GV, Venrock, and Lux Capital. Zooks is finally set to begin production at the end of 2017 and plans on releasing their first commercial product in 2021. 2022 will see the release of their self-driving car fleet. The official website states that these cars are designed for, on demand, fully autonomous mobility services. According to Crunchbase, Zooks aims to develop an electric vehicle that is smaller than an SUV but larger than a smart car. Zooks is located in Foster City, California, right across the bay from San Francisco, 
and is led by Kentley Clay who previously worked as an engineer at Tesla Motors. Zook says cars will look like normal cars at first glance, but they will have no steering wheel, gas pedals, or brake pedals. Instead, it will use artificial intelligence and sensors to drive the car. The cars are slated for delivery by 2021 and the team plans to have them on the road by 2022. Tesla Tesla is one of the leaders in developing self-driving cars. It's one of the first companies to release a car that has the hardware required for full self-driving capability. Tesla's autopilot feature is still semi-autonomous, but it's much closer to a fully autonomous state than other automakers. The Tesla Model S, Model X, and Model 3 are capable of level 5 autonomy, which means they can drive themselves without any input from a human driver. The current software is only semi-autonomous, meaning that a driver must be present at all times to monitor the vehicle's actions and perform an override if necessary. Full autonomy will be achieved when software updates are released to make it possible for the car to drive itself without human intervention. Mr. Musk also said he expected autonomous vehicles would be twice as safe as cars operated by humans because they don't get distracted or drive drunk. He added that, it will basically be like having a friend with you in the car. Conclusion one of the biggest challenges facing self-driving cars is how well they will be able to react in every situation. Highways and city streets have relatively consistent signs and traffic patterns, but what about a dirt road in the woods? How will an autonomous car handle that situation? In the next few years, we are likely to see more test runs for autonomous cars in harsh conditions like this. And with any luck, by 2021 at the latest, we will be seeing some level 5 autonomous cars on the road.